Game Show with six steps to one almighty prize. The Million Euro Challenge starts on Saturday at ten past eight. But now, Shortland Street. I shouldn't have been in that building and I shouldn't have been smoking, but it was an accident. Admit what you did. If I sail at that fire on purpose, I'm going to have a criminal record for the rest of my life. Is the charge denied or not denied? Not denied. Dad, it's Bella. I hope you get this before it's Evan's turn in front of that judge because I know he's innocent. That fire was an accident. You have to call me, OK? See, that wasn't so hard. All it took was two little words, not denied. Now you've said them, we can move on. I guess. Hey, cheer up. You were a man in there instead of an irresponsible kid. I have to say, you surprised me. Even at the last, I thought you might stick to your story. Feels good to do the right thing, doesn't it? I'll leave you this cut flower food. It makes an arrangement last much longer. Although Rachel might decide that plastic flowers are more cost-effective. I don't believe it. That's the third request in a row. For what? Listen to this. Count me in for the going away party. Is Yvonne doing the cooking? If so, I vote for savoury pinwheels. <laughs> the nerve of some people. I'm sure I'll find time to whip up a few. Don't be silly. It's your night. After all the send-offs I've organised for other people, it's hard to believe that this one's for me. And for you. I was hoping I could leave without a fuss. I'm not really in a party mode. I am. I intend to go out in style. And you should do the same. You'll only regret slinking off without a proper goodbye. Maybe. Definitely. I'm your mother. I know these things. <laughs> now, let's go and finish our packing. Are you leaving already? But the temp agency haven't sent your replacement through yet. Well, she'll be here this afternoon. And Bella assures me that she can manage until then. Fine. I'd hate to inconvenience you, especially since your entire family seemed to make a point of leaving this place in the lurch. How about I'll call you back tonight, OK? OK, bye then. Mum's not happy, right? Oh, she convinced herself that you were telling the truth. Hi, how'd it go? You tell her, Ev. All right, I suppose. Phoenix and Nuller are waiting for me at Sugar. Can I go? Oh, as long as you're not late for afternoon classes. I won't be. And you can choose whatever you fancy for tonight's dinner. Fish and chips, pizza, you have earned it. Thanks, Dad. Did it really go all right? Oh, better than all right. You dropped that nonsense about starting the fire by accident and feast up. What? Didn't you get my message? What message? Dad, your phone. I called you to say he didn't do it. I know he didn't. Not you too. Look, Evan is being a grown-up about this, finally. He needs to be congratulated, not wrapped in cotton wool and white lies. I've had enough of it. We can't just leave things like this. I know Evan didn't start that fire on purpose. He told a judge that he did. I'm going with that version. Hey, bro. How's the upskilling going? <laughs> Give me a couple more days and I'll probably be able to do your job. Mm. Hey, um, so did you hear about the drinks tonight for Yvonne and Mike? At the IVU. Yeah, well, what about boxing training? You want to postpone it, you reckon? Oh, you're not biking, are you? No way. I want to work on that left jab right up. Ooh. Combo you do. This weekend, then. You're wrong. <laughs> How much are you paying him? For what? For pretending your Shortland Street's answer to David Tour. Like I said, come along to the gym. See for yourself what I'm made of. I don't think so. <laughs> Neville Seaton uh, was crossing the road at some friend Moore got hit by a van. He wasn't knocked out. He's got a GCS of 14. His pupils are equal and reactive. OK, cubicle one, please. Phew. Smells like he's up in a brewery. Yeah, he could be high, too. Um, the van driver said he ran straight out in front of him. He was wound up in the ammo. Well, it seems quite enough now. Well, I wouldn't count on that last thing. He really didn't want us to bring him in. He was full on there for a while. OK, moving on three. One, two, three. OK. okay. We'll do a drug screen, but the agitation could also mean a head injury. Well, I'll leave you to it. Um, the police are on their way. They'll probably want to speak to the guy. OK. You want to take Mr. Seaton? Sure. You know what to do if he uh, gives you trouble? Yeah, take care. Are you sure that woman is OK? Luckily, her tea had cooled down a bit before you knocked it all over her, so yes, she's fine. You're not going to tell Rachel the camera, are you? She's looking for dead wood to cut and she might think I'm it. If you keep following me around like this, I'll go straight out there and knock on her door. I'm on a break. Leave me alone. Right. 
Apologies. Who kicked his cat? Me. Poor guy, he's worried about losing his job, but I'm having enough trouble today without babysitting a nervous orderly. You probably don't want to hear this then. Hear what? I overheard the staff at the bar. They're having a leaving party there tonight for Maya and Devon. I know. As president of the social club, I have to go over there and pay for it. Hilarious, eh? Let's go out for tea. Hmm? And miss a party. Doubt it. I have a reputation to protect. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Why not? Someone's got to get drunk and cause a scene. I'm just the girl for the job. Oh, sweetheart, come here. You to lie down again. Could have a head injury. I told you I'm good to go. There's nothing wrong with me. Okay, we need to keep you here for observation just to be sure of that. And I need to take some blood for testing. All right, so I can just lie down again. Get your hands off me! I'm down. Okay? Being in an accident, you're in shock. I just want to see you're okay. So do the police. They'll be here soon to take a statement. No way, no cops! Relax. Listen, they can't talk to you without my saying. All I care about is you getting properly checked out, mate. I'm going to give you some tablets now, all right? Call the code orange! You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, kicking myself. I let him get the jump on me. Maybe you should have given him the old left jab, right Africa combo. Yeah, it was pretty tricky when he had me in a beer. Lucky there was a chick around to save you, huh? I'll teach you my two-handed pinching combo sometime. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll just uh, take you up on that. So, what happens next? We have a stupid family conference with a judge and someone from child, youth and messed up families. Lots of blah blah until they send me off to some lockup with all the other baby crims. Mum and Dad would never let them do that. Dad will probably suggest it. Anything to straighten out his pyromaniac son. I can't believe you stood up in court and said that you lit the fire on purpose. Yeah, saying not denied is not the same thing as saying I did it. It's just saying it's not worth arguing about anymore. Dad was never going to believe me. Mum did. She was totally on your side. What you did today is going to break her heart. Wake up, Jazz. She might be upset for like five minutes, but she'll just be relieved to have me out of her hair. She won't. She doesn't want you locked up in some prison. No one does. Not even Dad. See, even you know the score. Dad wants me gone, and in the end, Mum will just do whatever he wants. You'll be sorely missed, Yvonne. <laughs> if there's anything I can do for you in the future... There may be something you can do for me right now. Actually, it's more for Maya than for me. Far away. Could you write her a reference? Um, I've got work to go to, but she'll be looking. And it seems that we've blotted our copybooks with Rachel for leaving at such short notice. <laughs> I'll be happy to write Maya a glowing reference. Oh, don't get me wrong. I understand where she's coming from. We have dropped her in it somewhat. And she has got a lot on her plate, <laughs> holding the fort while you're still recovering. Mm, well, I'm sure she'll cope. Uh, she's got Chris on her side, of course. So she has. Mm. It's funny how things have turned out. For both of us. I'm not CEO anymore. I'm sure I can give you a hug without people talking. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you every happiness. Uh, I really mean that. Me too. Thank you for everything. Pretty sure there's something in there. A piece of shell, maybe? Can I, uh, can I have another look? You're being so brave. Tell you what, can you be just a little bit braver and take your hand away? Let the doctor have a look, Freddie. Really need to check what's in that knee. Oh. <laughs> that's the strangest knee I've ever seen. Oh, Doctor, I don't think that that's his knee. Oh, of course. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's even stranger knee. It's attached to the... What's that? My hand. Hand? Where's your knee? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. What if... Oh, God. What? Now you need to wipe it away again. Yeah, we'll wipe it off. We'll wipe it off. Good man. That's all right, eh? Bella, I've got work to do. Now, I want you to listen first, and I mean listen, not talk over top of me or write a shopping list for the bar in your head, okay? 
All right, get on with it. Evan did not start that fire on purpose. Oh, but Pete, no, so... I'm not saying he's an angel, but up till now his stuff-ups can be filed under K for kid. S for stupid. But he's not a vandal or an arsonist. Do you really think you raised a boy who would set someone else's property on fire just for fun? Yeah, I do. Yeah, well, Callum Mackay believes he's innocent. And Chris Warner, and Rachel McKenna, and all his mates, and Brooke Freeman. Brooke Freeman? She dropped $50 this morning. Evan returned it to her. That proves his honesty. He probably thought someone saw him pick it up. If he's really the little crim you say he is, he wouldn't have cared if they did. He wouldn't have deleted his My Life page either. And what's that got to do with it? Oh, he started getting messages saying how cool he was for starting the fire. According to you, he should be basking in the glory. Instead, he told his new fans to get lost and deleted the account. That doesn't prove anything except that he's had a wake-up call in time. You're the one that needs to wake up. He didn't do it. Why did he fess up then? Not denied. That's what he said. Only to please you. And it worked, didn't it? You're happy now even if no one else is. Excuse me. Are Nicole Miller and her mum still staying here? But they went out earlier. Oh, OK. Bubbles? Yeah. Ta. <laughs> What a lovely surprise. I wasn't sure I'd see you here tonight. I did have to twist his arm to get him out of the house. <laughs> I think it's called uh, faking it till you make it. Don't expect too much too soon. You'll get there. Can we just go home now? No, we're going to stay here and have a good time like a regular couple. You'll see. I said turn me gently, but he just about rolls me off the bed. Oh, come on. It's not like you were taking the training seriously yourself. I was so. Really? Okay, if you were teaching me how to turn impatient, would you have climbed on top of me to demonstrate? Come on. Nursing's a very hands-on job, and you didn't seem to mind. Okay, so. Hey. I think I owe you an apology. We'll make the most of this. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Can I help it if I'm almost always right? <laughs> I'm sorry I was a bit harsh on you this morning. Take it as a compliment. That means you'll be missed. Thank you. I mean it. You've put so much into your job. And who am I going to go to to get my up-to-date gossip from now? Don't worry. I've taught Bella everything I know. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? That, if you can believe it, was an apology, huh? which makes my night just perfect. <sighs> Aren't you glad I convinced you to come? Absolutely. <laughs> There's got to be better things to do than hide in our room. Oh, I'm tired. I want an early night. Either that, or I could lie in bed listening to other people have fun. Well, why don't we watch a weepy movie? That'll distract you at least. If I want to get weepy, I'd join the party. Be bawling in no time. Don't put yourself through that. It's not worth it. Isn't it? If I don't go, I'll feel like a total coward. I don't want to see you hurting any more than you already are, but up to you. Oh. I have to be careful. Too many of these and they won't be out of bed in time for our flight. <laughs> <laughs> At least we've got the taxi booked already. Oh, you can't take a taxi. I'll drive you. I've got the morning off. Are you sure it's not too much trouble? For you, nothing is too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do without all these lovely people? Well, it's not like you've struggled to make friends before. And if they are Australians, I'm sure you'll manage. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'll be around if you need me. I didn't think you'd come. Neither did I until just now. But um, I wanted to say goodbye and good luck. No hard feelings. Actually, everything about this feels hard, but hey, moving on. I am sorry, Nick. I didn't mean for Let's it. not go over this again. Yeah. I, um, I might go say goodbye to Yvonne. Mm -hmm. Take a photo. It lasts longer and you can take it to bed at night. Better yet, take the real thing. How many times, Jilly? I am not interested. Fine, then. You've had your chance. Never let a good man go to waste. That's my motto. Slap her. She's not. She's just kidding around. Well, she can kid around with TK or anyone else. But not you. happy to be here as I feel. I wasn't going to show up, to be honest. But then I thought, if I don't, it makes me look like I have something to feel guilty about. And I haven't. Doesn't make it any easier hanging in here, though, does it? Nope. 
Any idea who's going to be me now that Maya's gone? Some temp, evidently. Too soon for you to come back, huh? Thanks. Ah, here's to us. Whatever doesn't kill us can only make us strong. Bella's been saying that you lied in court today. What's she sticking her nose in for? Did you or didn't you? Evan, I need to know who's right about this. Your mum and your sister or me? What about me being right? I was there, wasn't I? And I told you the truth again and again, and you didn't want to hear it. So I just said what you wanted to hear. I never wanted you to lie in court. Oh, come off it. You were pretty stoked this morning. Because I thought you were taking responsibility. I, I wanted you to learn something. I did. I learned that my dad thinks I'm a lost cause. And now that it's official, you can get off my case. Who cares if I did it or not? I do. Look at me, Ev. I was tough on you because I thought it was the right thing. I thought I was testing you, but I was wrong. And I'm the only one who couldn't see it. It's too late now. No, it's not. I got you into this, I'll get you out of this, I swear. You leave it to me. This truly is the end of an era, a 24-year-long era. <laughs> that is the sum total worked by Yvonne, Maya, Tanya and Libby. Is anyone else wondering how we're going to run this place without a Jeffries telling us what to do? <laughs> Yvonne, we will be lost without your boundless energy and your wise counsel. Even the advice we never asked for. <laughs> Don't worry, I have my spies everywhere and there's always email. <laughs> Maya, your professionalism and your sky-high standards have raised the bar. You really have made your mark. Made your mark, broken a few hearts. Hey, if this is too much, we can always move on to a bar in town. Nope. I'm determined not to run and hide. Good on you, mate. So, Yvonne, how about some last words of wisdom? <laughs> Thank you all very much. Uh, You've been more than good workmates. You've been very good friends. Which is why I am about to share a very closely guarded secret. My scone recipe. Oh. I was thinking of having an early night. Do you want to come with me? At least walk out with me, put on a show. It'll do wonders for your bad boy image. Mm, thank you, but maybe not. Ooh, you struck out there, girl. Ah, because he's only got eyes for you. And it's obvious you feel the same. Just drop the attitude and go for it. He's perfect. And that's a problem. He's way too perfect. Meaning? Meaning I'm gonna get another drink. That is the secret. In life, as in baking. <laughs> To Yvonne and Maya. You will be sadly missed. Any chance of getting Maya's locker? My locker buddy has a bad habit of leaving old apple cores in ours. Sorry, one of the OTs already put a hand out first. Great. Morning. I just saw Dr. Perfect outside. He's given Yvonne and Maya a lift to the airport. So he's generous too. Can the man do no wrong? Drop it. I would, only I'd rather keep pick, pick, picking until you tell me what gives. You'll do it too, won't you? Mm -hmm. I'm older and bullshier than I used to be, and I hate secrets. Okay, but you keep it to yourself. Nurse is on her. All right, well. Ever since I've been little, my whānau has had my entire future mapped out for me, and part of that future is finding some amazing guy to go and breed heaps of super little Māoris with. And what, you don't want kids? It's not that. 
I, I know my responsibilities to my iwi, and I'll get there eventually. But for now, I don't want to be responsible. You know, I want to cut loose. Well, I've still got the chance. So cut loose with TK, make him a good time and not a long time. <laughs> if my family saw him, they would be booking the marae, OK? Excellent Māori doctor who's fluent in te reo, who's known for setting up Māori health initiatives. You would hear my dad's victory haka from here. Oh, come on, he can't frog march you up the aisle. Anyways, who says TK would want to marry you? I mean, yuck. Well, you know what? I'm not taking the risk. Oh, have that lift yet? Ah, uh, run. Bye. Catch him. You lost, Fasa. This is Shortness Street, not Central. <sighs> No, I'm not lost. I'm early. For my first day as acting director of nursing. Morning. How are you feeling? Fabulous. I ran into Maya outside the hospital. She wanted me to give you her apartment keys. I think she was hoping you'd come and get them yourself. Say goodbye. I couldn't. Last night was bad enough and we had lots of people standing between us. If I'd gotten any closer. Sorry, I so need to toughen up. Hey, this was the real deal for you. I thought I'd been in love before, but I hadn't even come close. I am the best person that I can be when I'm with Maya. And now she's going, and I feel like someone's ripped my guts out. Well, at least you won't have to see her face again. They're probably leaving about now. Really? Yeah, Tico's going to take them to the airport. Little JJ was already strapped into his car seat. Don't forget your roots, little man. <laughs> Never. All right, that's us. You sure you want to do this? I am, but you need to make up your own mind. We're just leaving so much behind. I know. But you can't have an adventure without taking chances. You're right. OK, let's go. Bye, Soph. Look out, Judy Free. Here come the Jeffreys. Bye. The new judges are sitting pretty for the second round of blind auditions on The Voice of Ireland Sunday at half past six here on One and catch up with the first show on RTE2 Saturday at five.